Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly Has Plans. In today's video, we're doing a flip through of the month of July in my Plum Paper Vertical columns. So let's get started. Alrighty friends, so July, already midway through the year. It's so crazy. So as always, I like to put a little bit of pizzazz on my index page. So this sweet little girl, is very patriotic. She was a freebie from, I believe, Simply Smith sticker. So that's how I kind of kicked off the month. And then let's go ahead and flip, open this up and kind of flip to the book here. So here I have the monthly highlights or index page. This is from Ever Changing Plans. I loved this kit. It's so beautiful. I loved kind of this oyster background versus like super white. Lots of great little icons here and deco. I love the chicken. Chicken rooster, I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, we were planning for Emma's party in August, and so a lot of what I did was centered around Emma's party. I wrote down how we celebrated the 4th of July at my brother's house. I was binging Yellowstone through the month. My niece also turned four, so that was kind of fun. My niece and nephew, their parent, her parents had a dunk tank in their backyard. It was really fun, like a true full life-size carnival dunk tank. And so I'm her godmother, so I, I hopped in the dunk tank. It was really fun. I finished my book meant to be, and I started When Life Gives You Lululemons, um, Return to Crime Junkie, and then Persuasion starring Dakota Johnson came out on Netflix, I believe either Netflix or Amazon. And so I was waiting for that. So we watched that. I think I watched it like maybe four times because I'm a big Jane Austen fan. And then I also watched Don't Make Me Go and Yellowstone. And then of course, keeping up with my regular series, Only Murders in the Building. Didn't have any notes that I took this month here on this page, but look at this gorgeous wide wash. Isn't that pretty? And then looking at the month view, I loved this header with the deep red dates here. Oh, so pretty. And then a couple of deco boxes. I used this strip because we had an appointment for Otis to where I started him on all kinds of new meds and new bag of food. And I'm trying because I have some of his things on auto ship. I'm trying to track how many weeks I need to space out the auto ship. So that's why I kind of keep track on that. We had, of course, Eyeless Party that I mentioned. A couple of birthdays here, friends and family as well. Another little chicken here, so cute. I did have a board of trustees meeting at the end of the month, so kind of busy with work in terms of getting ready for that, our executive committee, our regular monthly meetings. So that is how the month view looks. And then this was a duplicate week. So because more of the days in this week fell in June, I plan that as part of June. So that's kind of how I determine whether or not I use this weekly spread or the one in the month before. So. Moving to the first week, which was the week of 4th of July, I continued with ever-changing plans because look at these cute gnomes, the little Mr. and Mrs. I thought they were adorable, and I just loved how vibrant her red, white, and blue was, again, with some little touches of light blue. I thought this was super, super cute. And the ever-changing plans kits are so full of scripts and icons, there's always plenty left over that I end up using in other spreads throughout the year. So really, really fun. Let's take a look. So most of this came from the kit. This little icon here is from Big Elephant Plants, but like the shoe is from the kit. Trash Day, this looks like it might be from a Fern Creek stickers that I have but a lot of everything else is from the kit. This looks like Planner Kate. This is from Creek Stickers. My Otis Meds is a custom from my friend Saya at Saya Plans, but these headers are all from the kit. I love the boxes. This is from Ever Changing Plans. It's a full sheet of staff meeting stickers. My times are a mix of Phoenix Plans and then also Saya Planning. So just kind of wherever I was missing times, I would use from one or uh, one or the other shops, but this is from the kit. This is from the kit. These these two are from the kit. These two habit trackers, but then these other two, I think these are from Planner Kate. I love this little guy, so cute, and this wide washi. So I kind of moved things up because I just wanted to use this wide washi. I didn't want to cut it down, and so I put my 
rings here in kind of the body of the plans, which is great with the vertical planner because there's there aren't any hours here like in an hourly. I could kind of create as much space as I wanted for washi and for rings and that kind of stuff. So very fun week. This happy birthday is a leftover from Planner Kate Monthly. So fun. Okay, so then flipping into week two. This is from Orange Umbrella Co. It is kit 152. It's their 4th of July kit, but I also felt like it was super summery. So I added this stick babe from the Happy Planner and all of the flip-flops here and the cool little French bulldog in the shades. I just thought that speaked of summer and popsicles and that kind of thing. So again, a lot of it coming from the kit. Budget review, this is from Nicole Hutch Designs. Of course, my Otis Meds, these to-dos, these are from Saya Planning. I just mentioned the staff meeting sticker in the previous week, that's ever-changing plans. My times, again, are either Saya Planning or they might be from like this nine o'clock from Phoenix Plans. So a lot going on here. We did some onboarding. Um, I started my new book. I love it because I used this little sticky note. I'm always wanting to use these sticky notes and I never figure out how so I put new book in there and then indicated that I started a new book this commissary is from Phoenix plans this mixed script here is from Nicole Hutch designs and then this Costco is also from Phoenix plans family time is from Chrissy and designs and then this petty and movie night these are from the happy planner this little nail polish is from planner Kate so kind of filled in a lot with the boxes I thought this was really fun Okay, and then this week, again, Orange Umbrella Co. This is Summer Days, it's kit 151. Super fun, summery, tropical kind of theme to it. Uh, continuing with my custom scripts from Say a Planning here. Wash car, this is from Fern Creek Stickers. This staff meeting sticker is from Planner Kate. Couple of canceled meetings there. My friend Francis from work, he had a birthday, so we decorated his office. It was really fun. And then our dumpling caucus. So this is just a group of work friends, past and present. So we all at one point worked at, at the current organization where I work and some people have moved on, but we've created this little group that like to go to dim sum and try different dumpling houses. And so <laughs> we try to meet like once a quarter, every other month, that kind of thing. So we actually had a lunch, which was fun. Um, we had some friends drop by. Binging Yellowstone, guarantees for my board meeting were due that day. Just kind of tracking my steps and mileage up here. My ring's down here as usual. This is from, this habit tracker is from Orange Umbrella Co. as well, but my scripts inside here are from Say It, Say It Planning. I like using the, the little check boxes that Orange Umbrella Co. offers with their kits that you can buy. They're really cute, they're kind of dainty looking. This was really fun. So this was where I kind of first tried sort of wallpapering the background with boxes. I kind of sometimes get to the end of my weeks and I feel like, oh, I didn't use up all my full boxes. And so this kind of was like, I kind of took a play on how you see a lot of planners with the Happy Planner and how they layer lots of stickers and creative looks and then put their meetings and appointments kind of just on top of them. And so that's where I kind of got the idea from. And so I really like how this, turned out I like playing with the full boxes and just kind of laying them out on the space and then layering on top with my appointments. I thought it was really fun. So, so much fun that I kind of have started to just plan that way and continue with that. So in this final week of July, again, this is an orange umbrella co kit. It's called Flamingos and it is kit number 155. They're so fun. Aren't these guys super silly? So this is part of the kit, it's from Orange Umbrella Co, but again, my scripts are from Saya Planning, Walk Otis and the Water is obviously custom. I bought the deco for this kit, so I have lots of fun little leaves here. This, don't forget, I feel like this is a Planner Kate script, and then this here is from Fern Creek Stickers, and again, my custom from Saya with the Otis Meds. And then the groceries, this is leftover from a an end for changing plans kit and then staff meeting is from planner kate and again my times are mixed between phoenix plans or sayas plan just kind of depending on what i had what numbers i had left over i love this errands with the little leaf and that cute these two safeway and commissary these are customs from 
Phoenix Plans and the Costco as well. And then the fill up gas tank is from Nicole Hutch Designs. I kind of like to keep track on how much I'm filling up my gas tank. I usually like to try to fill it up once per pay period, but sometimes depend on the amount of driving I'm doing, I have to do it more than once. So this flamingo on the bike is so funny. And I thought he was kind of cute layered on top of the full box here turned on its side. I love full boxes that sort of have a tossed print where it doesn't matter what direction you lay it in, like this one here and here and here, so that you can kind of turn them on their side and just kind of elevate your planning there. Keeping track of my rings. This was really a fun kit. And so then we move into my monthly cleaning page. So this page is an add-on with Plum Paper. And what I did was I have one monthly cleaning page dispersed through each month of the year. With their add-ons, you could group them all in a section at the back of your book or in the front of your book, but I like having the monthly cleaning kind of live within each month. So what I did here was I used leftovers from the Orange Umbrella Co. Memorial Day kit. It was the kit with all of the cows, and so I thought it was really fun. I had extra washi, and so I just kind of wanted to bring it back. It's patriotic for the month of July. So all of my daily task and weekly task headers are from Saya, as well as the daily five scripts. So these are from Saya. Over here in the weekly, I have a mix of Saya with Phoenix plants, so garbage, empty fridge, scoop hoop, these are from Phoenix plants. I had run out of my water plants, so I just kind of wrote that in. But I always do really well on the daily tasks and the weekly tasks. It's getting to the monthlies that I do the best I can, friends, but I'm not always 100%. So the rotating, these are things that you do once a month, and like baseboard, spot, spot cleaning the furniture, that is something you do once a month, every month, but then what she rotates with like the light fixtures. So one month you're cleaning the bathroom light fixtures, like in July, that's what we did. In June, it was like maybe a different room in the house. Maybe it was the bedrooms and August, I think it's like living room and dining room. So that's something that rotates. Polishing the wood furniture you do once a month, wiping down the appliances, cleaning the oven, again, that kind of rotates. I think it ends up being like once a quarter kind of thing. And then your monthly tasks, this is more like a monthly focus. So for July, it was organizing systems, which I didn't do a lot of. You know, I did declutter. I did find three trouble spots and kind of reorganize those. Um, but I didn't do like the perspective was bring in a friend and have them take a look at it. Well, I wasn't going to do that. So <laughs> I didn't do that. So anyways, I did use this full box that was left over from the kit. I did like that. So that is all of my pages that are in my sort of catch all everything planner. And then let's take a look at how my social media planner looked. Okay, so here is my social media planner. It is an Erin Condren monthly. I've got the custom marquee cover on here, film edit upload. A lot of social media folks have this same kind of cover. I have my Bitly Ditly has plans on it. So let's go ahead and flip to July. Change happens with actions, big and small. So I don't do anything here to this index page. I think there's enough on each of these monthly pages. And again, this is my working social media planner, so I don't get too super fancy with it. But what I did for the month of July was I used some leftover Planner Kate kits from their 4th of July kits from like two years ago, the last couple of years. So these cute little scallop boxes are from those leftover kits. I found a couple of little icons here from other like freebies and that kind of thing. So it was just kind of a mishmash of freebies and leftovers from, I think this might've been a leftovers from Ever Changing Plans. And so here's how I did with posting on social media. Not too bad. I had kind of picked up my pace a little bit because in the spring it was really hard for me to get on social media, but I was able to kind of do most everything here. And then here's my little checklist grid. This YouTube sticker is from Big Elephant Plans. Again, some leftover stickers here that I found. And so just kind of using my grid to make sure that I'm doing all of my monthly <laughs> videos that I wanna do. And then over here, I love this method of identifying what my kits are for the month and then identifying which kits I'm using for each week. And so that's what I did here. And then the rest of the planner is just keeping notes. I take notes on what I wanna say. 
or what kits I'm using and that kind of thing. And then usually there's like one or two pages left over for the month. So that's it. That's my social media. And so I'll just bring back in my regular planner just for a final look. I did change out the cover uh, in the month of, it's August now. So I did change out the cover recently. I love this, it's so pretty. I thought it was very August feeling kind of late, late summer. And I just put a little phrase, keep going, keep growing. So yeah, that's it friends. That's a look of July in both my everything planner and my social media planner. Alrighty then, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.